Hi friends, welcome back to the Accent Designer. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few websites and resources to practice your product design skills on the go. So you don't necessarily have to wait until you're by your computer in order to practice. You can literally do that from your phone. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Right, so before we get in, I will make sure to leave the links to all these websites down in the description so that you can visit if you want. The first website we have today is called UXL. Uh, it's more so like an online school where you can study pretty much everything about product design from user interface design, typography, color theory, learn more about qualitative research resources and artifacts. But the one thing I really like about this website uh, is the test, the skill test. And from there, you will find a lot of topics in order to measure your skills and learn something new. Such a great read to have on my phone. So we can try and go to interaction design and see what they have here. Just a good and concise um, intro, a little bit of a synopsis, and it even tells you uh, who is this best for, like a beginner, intermediate designer, professional. I believe it's just gonna be good for everyone. Everyone needs to you know, brush up uh, their skills and refresh from time to time. So it's such a great resource. Mobile design, so let's go to mobile design and see how it looks like. So it's like a, a demo curriculum. So apparently you need to create a, an account in order to access this content, which is not too bad. The second website I have for you guys today is called designdebt.co. And this website is such a great resource for those who are trying to uh, learn more about design leadership. If you're uh, in this phase in your career where you're trying to step up a little bit and just like capture the next role, if you're trying to become a UX manager or a design manager. So uh, they also have a bunch of resources here, community by design, but I, I do remember that this website is different than any other resource I'm sharing today in a way that you have to uh, reserve or book a slot in these workshops in order to join. It's not like a self-based uh, curriculum or courses or anything like that. It's actually pre-organized uh, workshops. So let's go here and see what they have. Design or be designed. That's a pretty uh, interesting title. Remote workshops. So they have design in businesses, ensuring design excellence and design leadership profile. So let's go and see uh, design businesses. So it's a four part uh, workshop in which you're going to study or learn more about business basics, business strategy, product dynamics, crafting debates, and it's four hours per session. That's pretty extensive workshop, uh, by the way. And I'm assuming after each session, there is like a take home assignment or take home activity that you have to accomplish in order to uh, join uh, the following day then if you're interested in something like that, you can just click join waitlist. The following website that I want to share with you guys today is UX challenges uh, or UX tools slash challenges. So once you visit this website, you can go to uh, UX challenges from these tabs, or you can just type it as pretty much the same way I have here in the URL. Then you can just scroll down and you will find all the topics that this website offers. Uh, let's see something like, oh, that's pretty much all the artifacts included in the qualitative research uh, process. So I'm going to go and check this user persona. So it gives you a scenario. So it's almost like a simulation. And it says the website you work on helps renters and buyers find homes, explore neighborhoods, contact agents, and so on. Uh, basically something that competes uh, with Zello and Trulia or Trulia. So the assumption here is you will have to conduct some qualitative research in the form of uh, in-person interviews. You have to talk to people and uh, prior to that, you will definitely have to uh, list or identify the research objectives, the interview objectives, uh, then the script, the questions, the context. Uh, and after you do all that, your responsibility is synthesize all the data and responses you collect from these interviews and try to build a persona that represents your target audience. And along with the task and the context or the scenario, uh, they also attach a bunch of tutorials to help you speed up the process and the tools they offer for you to conduct your research, Miro, Notion, and Figma, pretty standard. That's actually pretty cool. Now the fourth 
And final website that I'm sharing with you guys today is dailyui.co. This is, to me, was the best resource I came across five or six years ago to improve my UI skills dramatically. Uh, and the way it works is basically you sign up, but be very careful. Once you sign up here, uh, this website will send you random UI tasks on a daily basis for 100 days. So you get in total 100 tasks every single day from this website. So the best time to sign up on this website, if you're 100% ready and committed to work on it, if you really like it and if you really want to improve your UI skills. Try to save your work from day one and compare it to your work when you finish on day 100. It's just completely, it's, it's gonna be night and day. Yeah, and that's pretty much uh, all the websites that I wanted to share with you guys today. Hopefully you find it interesting. Thank you very much for tuning in today and see you next time.